subtracting integers. For example, if you have 5 minus 7, all you have to do is copy the first number, change subtraction to addition, and change 7 to negative 7. So the procedure is very simple to follow. You copy the first number, you change the subtraction into addition, and you change the subtrahend's sign into the opposite. So if this is positive 7, you change the sign to negative. So it becomes negative 7. So what's really happening here is you're changing the problem from a subtraction problem into an addition problem. And once it's changed to an addition problem, you will now apply the rule in adding integers. Now when you're adding integers with different signs, you are going to subtract their absolute values. And therefore, we're going to subtract the absolute value of 5 and the absolute value of negative 7. The absolute value of 5 is 5 and the absolute value of negative 7 is 7. And 7 minus 5 is equal to 2. So that will be our answer, except we are going to attach the sign of the number with the higher absolute value. In this case, negative 7 is a higher absolute value and therefore we are going to copy the sign of negative 7. So our answer is negative 2. Let's have another example. Let's say instead of 5 minus 7, we have negative 5 minus 7. Again, the procedure is very simple. Copy the first number, which is negative 5, change subtraction into addition, and then copy the second number except change the sign of the second number into its opposite. This is positive 7, so we're going to change it to negative. So now we have negative 5 plus negative 7. From here, we can now apply the rule in adding integers. When you're adding integers with the same signs, all you have to do is add the absolute values of these numbers and then copy the common sign. The absolute value of negative 5 is equal to 5. The absolute value of negative 7 is equal to 7. 5 plus 7 is 12. And then copy the sign that is common to both of them, and that is negative. So the answer is negative 12. Let's have another example. This time, we have negative 5 minus negative 7. Again, copy the first number, change the subtraction into addition, copy the second number, but it change its sign to the opposite. So since that's negative 7, we're going to change it to the opposite. So now it's becoming positive 7. Now, since it's already addition, we can now apply the rule in adding integers. When you're adding integers with different signs, all you have to do is subtract their absolute values. So the absolute value of negative 5, which is 5, and the absolute value of 7, which is 7, will be subtracted. I'll have 7 minus 5 is equal to 2, and then copy the sign of the number with the higher absolute value. In this case, it will be positive, since positive 7 has a higher absolute value. Also, please remember that if the number has a positive sign, you don't really have to write the positive sign anymore. So from negative 7, I can just simply write 7 because I'm changing that to positive 7. And again, copy the sign of the number with the higher absolute value. Therefore, the final answer is 2. I hope that helps. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching.